Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Oracle Cloud Shell Terminal. This is a web-based shell terminal and it's free to use. And it's a nice feature that they offer. It allows you to um, access your servers from the web browser. And you also has pre-installed Oracle Cloud command line interface in it. So you can manage your resources in Oracle Cloud through it. And the nice thing about it is that you don't have to pre-configure your computer to do that. You don't have to worry about how do you configure it in a Mac or in a PC. That way, all you need is a web browser and access to your Oracle Cloud console. So to access the shell terminal, all you have to do is log into your console and go and click up here in this little command prompt icon. So once you click on it, it will open your shell machine. In this shell, you're going to have five gigabyte of uh, home folder storage that you can use to store files. It runs on Oracle Linux. It's very limited as to what commands you can run. You can't install any packages or anything, but you shouldn't have to do that because it has most of the basic stuff that you need to run the commands in it. Uh, so if you do pwd, you can see your home directory. It does have Python, have Python 275, and it also has Python 3. So you can, um, put some Python scripts here or write a Python script to run scripts against your infrastructure. It also has Git. So if you have some scripts or anything on Git repository, you can put them down. And again, as I said, you have five gigs of disk space on it. So the first thing I'm going to show is how to SSH into one of your instances. So when you create your instance, you have created a key pair right, to log in into that instance. And the first thing you're going to need to do is upload your private key here. So that way um, you can use it to access the instance. And they have a pretty good tool here that it allows you to upload files from your computer to your console directory. So you can just go up and upload and I'm going to go here and I'm just going to find the file and I'm going to find my private key file, which is this one. And then I'm going to click open and upload. And once the file is uploaded, I can just go ahead here. Let's just make sure we see yep, I have the file here. So now I can use this file to connect to one of my instances. So I'm going to go here to compute an instance and I can grab my public IP and do SSH dash dash I and give path to my key and then do Ubuntu. Say yes. Oh, my key has bad permissions. So we're going to change the permission of our key. So we're going to make it mod 600 to SSH key. And now I'm going to try to connect again. And there you go. I'm logged into my Ubuntu server. So I'm going to exit now from here. And another thing I want to show you is it does have Oracle Cloud command line interface installed in it. So you can run commands here to manage your infrastructure. Like I'm just going to show you one example. Um, you can just run a command line to, for example, just stop your machine, right? You can script things to build a machine. You can use Terraform and that kind of stuff. But in my case, I'm just going to show you how to turn off your instance. So all you have to do is type OCI compute instance action action stop instance ID and then give it the instance ID which you can get from here and you run this and it takes few seconds and your machine will turn off and there you go your machine is off now and then you can do the reverse thing and you can start your instance again takes few seconds and your instance is going to start so you can do pretty much anything with this it's a pretty nice tool you can kind of expand it like this so you see it on the full screen. As I said earlier, they have this tool that it allows you to download and upload files. So you can give a path to a file that's in your home directory and you can download it down to your computer. It's a nice tool. I really like using it, especially if I need to access something and I'm not at home on my computer where, you know, I have all my public and private keys and that kind of stuff. So it's, it's a good feature. I hope you like this video. If you find it useful, please click on the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe for my channel.